to Lou's Beauty Closet if you're new. Hi, I'm Lou. I post weekly beauty, luxury and lifestyle videos. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and tap that bell next to it so you don't miss a video. And without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so today we're doing empties. It's been a hot minute since I've done an empties video. And it's funny because the last one I did, I had a lot of the same stuff. So this time it's a bit more of a mix up. There's a few more makeup items, skincare as well. It tends to be more skincare with me because you just go through skincare products quicker than you do with makeup. And we'll jump into it. So I'll just show you guys what I've finished up. I'll show you, um, I'll let you know whether I'm gonna repurchase it or not, or if I have already and if not why. I always find empties fun because it's cool to see when people recommend you stuff but also to see what they're actually using and what they like and what works for them and then if you've had your eye on that item maybe you've saved some money maybe you've got confirmation to get it. So without further ado we can go through my beauty trash and yes I have a little makeup box okay don't judge me no judgment. <laughs> First up we have the Drunk Elephant B Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel. I've got two of these that I've been through they are 50 mils each. These cost a pretty penny, $75 each. Australia <laughs> these cost. So it's not a cheap brand by any means. This skincare brand, a lot of you would have heard, if you haven't heard it, they've made so many waves through the skincare industry with um, their products basically. So most of their stuff you'll see is packaged. It's got that, this white packaging and then they've got less things are color coded. So this is a moisturizer. It's designed to be used either alone or in conjunction with your other skincare products. It's like an extra shot of hydration. Really nice. It was lightweight, it wasn't too heavy, and I felt that it was quite refreshing. Now the only thing is, this is 75 bucks and there's only 50 mils in here. It was my morning and nighttime moisturizer, so you can imagine how quickly I was going through this. I'm not repurchasing this only because of the price. I did like the product. If you find, if you're just gonna use it as a, maybe like your daytime moisturizer or just as like an extra shot of hydration maybe, if you're really dry skin and you have your usual moisturizer and you just want something extra maybe you'll like this but for me definitely give, some, um, give it a thumbs up it's just that it's pricey i've got the clean Apothe apothecary brush shampoo i can never say that i've got two of these as well i've got the scent grapefruit i was how was i switched on to this i bought i bought this from beautylish and i bought the when my first ever wayne goss brush and this is the cleanser they recommended because it actually cleanses and conditions your brushes I absolutely love this. As we speak, I've made another order from Beautylish for their gift card event and I've got two more on the way because I go through it quite quickly. This is the original one it came in and I have to say they've changed the packaging and I really love the change packaging. And I think they've actually given you more. It doesn't say how much is in there but they gave me more in this one. So it's completely gone. I love it. And the, the way the packaging is, it's fantastic, easy to use smells gorgeous they've got about five different scents so you're sure to find one you like it's not overbearing i promise you your brushes will be the softest you've ever had them so soft and they condition them as well i think that's why too i use it on my other brushes and sometimes i'm like it feels softer than actually before before i even put product on it so again love this repurchasing have more on the way all right next we'll do another item we'll do it maybe a makeup item i've got the mac Fix Plus, this is a staple in pretty much all makeup <laughs> makeup junkie kits. Most people have this or a couple bottles of this lying around. This is the scented one, Lavender. I actually really like this. The only reason I haven't got another scented one is because I've got Fix Plus Matte and I've got the Gold Light. So I want to finish at least one of those before I get another one. So forever going to be repurchasing Fix Plus. The only annoying thing is you can never get the last bit out of here. Do you guys find that? It sort of spits at you. That's the only thing I hate. But Fix Plus, love. We'll be getting lavender again, probably get coconut as well. Love, love, we'll repurchase. Next, I've got something a bit different as well. This is that sort of skincare, this is like a bath type item. This is the Happy Hippie Shower Gel from Lush. It's the 250 gram one. I like this. Um, I really like citrusy kind of scents, especially my bath product, or just, just fruity sort of scent. So this one is the, it's not got the shimmer, it's just the normal citrusy one. I haven't repurchased really it because they've got all the Christmas releases and I'm trying that. I've got Cinders, which I love, Plum Fairy, they've just done, oh. So I'm loving Lush. I'm sort of having a play around with all their stuff. That's the only reason why I haven't repurchased really this. This one will be a bit controversial. I have the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. This is the 24 hour foundation, 30 mils. In terms of the product, I really liked the product. I have oily skin. It was one of the only foundations that I've tried that is full coverage, stays on it. This thing is thick. Now that's why it's got a, it comes with a pump, but that's why it's got this sort of um, plug, I guess. And it's just to stop it because if you lose this, you're screwed, guys. Because this pump here, because the foundation is so thick, 
when you pump it, it gets all the residue, it dries and then it blocks the pump. So with this plug, it sticks into it so you know, so the foundation won't dry out so you always be able to pump it. It's really good value for mine, it's $49, 30 mils and it's full coverage foundation, full coverage guys, not medium, full coverage foundation. So I do like it. The only reason I'm not repurchasing it is because I don't really want to be buying from the brand anymore because of the things my eyes have been open to, the remarks she's made about um, vaccination of kids and also um, being anti-semitic but anyway i don't want to get into the drama but personally i like the product i just i'm not going to be repurchasing from the brand but by all means if you don't care for the um, owner or you, you're not really fussed about that go for gold but if you've got oily skin and you like your after full coverage foundation definitely give the cap one d one a try if you don't mind it is made in <laughs> I have the Ordinary Cold Pressed Verula Oil, 100% Virgin Verula. I love this. It is finished, such good value for money. Verula, for me, works. I tried rose hip, didn't work, didn't sink into my skin, it took too long. Marula, I put it in, it sinks in, my skin feels so soft in the morning. My skin texture has significantly improved after using Marula and the um, Ordinary Marula. So I've already repurchased it and I'm already using it at the moment, it's part of my skincare routine. So you already know, and it's really, really reasonable um, version of Marula too. If you guys have tried these items and you hate them or you love them or your views are a bit different to mine, comment below, I'd love to hear it. So since we're on the topic of Marula, I've got the Drunk Elephant Marula as well, the little sample one that comes in their, their mini kits that they do, which I really appreciate. So I've tried it as well, I like it, it's just that I prefer the, the um, Ordinaries one actually. This one's a lot more, it's a lot more, it's a lot runny, the, it's thinner in um, consistency. Ah, oh, I've, actually, I've actually gone through two of them guys. So I've gone through two of these. So basically it's just price point as well. Buying this full size, buying a normal size Marula of Drunk, of drunk Elephants one is way more than the Ordinaries one. They're both Marula oil. It doesn't really matter what brand of Marula oil you buy, you just want Marula oil. Next we've got a makeup item. I have a mini of the Benefit Roller Lash. I think this is my second or third mini of Roller Lash. Love this mascara. Love, love, love it. I'll be getting a full size eventually when I get through my other full size mascaras. The wand is fantastic guys, the way it curls, the fact that it's curved, you flip it this way you can get your top lashes, you flip it the other way and you can get your bottom lashes, so I appreciate that. Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation, Tongue Twister, 32 mils, 50 bucks, I'm shade for 20, I really love this for oily skin and if you are full um, coverage that's medium full, buildable and you've got oily skin, this is the foundation for you, that's all I'm going to say. I think with this foundation you either love it or you hate it. but I think you'll find people who are dry skin or really hate this foundation. I really like it. Comes with the pump, easy to use. It is quite runny. It is quite a runny um, consistency as well. But I really, I really like it. This is one of my foundations. I've actually tried quite a few. I have had foundations I continuously go back to, and this will probably be one I do go back to when I finish the lot that I have now. Foundation again is something I don't like having too many of. I like to finish things. With, with things like this so but anyway i really like it thumbs up to plenty for this foundation and the ways that this product made as well on the beauty industry fantastic great product i'll definitely be trying picking up again lastly for beauty items i have another foundation the lancome 10 idol ultra wear another 24 hour foundation what's up with brands of 24 hours who's putting foundation on for that long guys but anyway i digress i was shade I actually picked up shade 12, this is the one I got when I was in Paris last year and I tried it again because when I was wearing it after a while I was like oh it's a bit orange on me and I found it was shade 11 but anyway I really enjoyed this foundation, it comes with a pump, 30 mils I believe, it's got SPF 15, 40 shades I think, unless they've expanded it more, fantastic product, gorgeous, I really enjoyed this product so I'll, or this is also on my list of to be repurchased once I've gone through my current on rotation but i really like this so i definitely think we should give it a sample jumping back into skincare i have a ren item it's been a while since i've brought ren out to play this is a mask the claromat invisible pores detox mask it now i will say i love the mechanism for this mask the packaging got a lid also has a pump can we give them props for giving us this self-sealing sort of lid oh it's all crusty everywhere it's got this like it, it's attached to it's attached to the product so it's got a lid so the product never dries out. I really like this mask. 
whenever I had a breakout that would come up, I'd pop it on, it'd help me dry it. For my pores though, I wouldn't say it's done much to my pores. In terms of detox, it definitely brings stuff out to the forefront and helps me get rid of breakouts as well. Will I repurchase? No, because there's so many masks on my list to try that I liked it, but I didn't love it enough that I feel like I have to have more of it. But I will, I do appreciate the mechanism and for the price point as well, Ren is fantastic. Next we have some Kate Somerville. I've got two, so you can tell I really like this product because I already purchased it. And they're the massive full sizes. I've got the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Kate Cleanser. This is the one for um, oily, sort of acne prone skin. They've got two versions, the Daily Firming Wash. These are 120 mils. I've gone through two. I'm on my next bottle. This time I've bought, I've actually gone through quite a few of these before, but anyway, these, these two I've gone through, it makes so much more <laughs> financial sense to buy the full size if you get your bang for your buck. I'm on, I've already repurchased, so you can tell I love this product. It really helps for me with my skin. I've seen changes morning and at night time I use it as my morning and evening cleanser as well. I think this was $55 for 125 to 120 mils, so it's not that bad. It's a lot. But for example, the moisturizer from Dragon is about $75 and there's only 50 mils in there. You're gonna go through a moisturizer a lot quicker than you're gonna go through a cleanser, so perspective. So I love this, I've repurchased. As you can see, I love it, I'm a fan. Right, we're doing good, we're doing good. Your box is getting empty. Since we're on Kate Somerville, this is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Kate Glow Moisturizer. 30, is it 30? 50 mils. This one I got as part of a Christmas set. It's like this. It had a funny scent to it. I liked it, but I didn't think it did any wonders for my skin that I needed to buy it again, especially given the price point for this being a moisturizer. I'm trying to stay clear, steer clear from jar products with skincare, especially moisturizer. Every time you open it to air, you're reducing the potency of the product, you're letting air and all the stuff in the air come into it. It's just not viable. And when you're getting to pricey make um, skincare products, they should really know better. I'm a bit picky with my moisturizers, you guys can tell. <laughs> Next, fan favorite. This one I think was in my last empties video, the Mecca Cosmetica to Save Face Super Screen. This is SPF 50 plus. Love it. As a dark skin girl myself, I find I actually struggle with sunscreen SPF, usually turns you blue. This one, it's like a moisturizer in itself and it's not made me ashy still. So no matter how much I put on, it sinks in lovely. It's not tacky or sticky. It doesn't give me that weird cast, no ashiness. It's fantastic. It's actually a nice base for makeup as well. Will I repurchase? I already have. I'm on my like fifth or sixth bottle or tube of this. Love it. This is the travel size. And the small ones, I think are like, they're really reasonable, the small ones. Whereas the big ones, like, that's a commitment. <laughs> I don't know, can you guys relate here? But I love this. Find yourself an SPF that you love and stick with it. Next, I have the Drag Elephant, another Drag Elephant entry. This is the C Firma Day Serum. This is their vitamin C. They have the um, L Ascorbic Acid. So, this is basically a vitamin C serum. It's only guaranteed for six months. Um, L Ascorbic Acid, vitamin C in general, is quite unstable as a product. So, that's why they've got it in a pump. As you continue using this, it starts to turn, it starts to get more yellow, get more orange. When it's pure orange, it's pretty much ineffective basically so you just have to be careful with this that's why they gave you a twist lock pump nice packaging so you're not getting that light that's affecting it the ordinary has a vitamin c but it's inside this bottle which i mean it's good because it's tinted but it's still not good enough I'm searching and scouting for different like alternatives as well because like 30 mils i mean it's not too bad i don't go through it every month but it'd just be nice to have a more stable form that's a bit cheaper but yes, I've already repurchased. Last products in the empties basket, we have the Maria Badescu Glycolic Acid Toner. I came back to this after using the Ren Toner for a while and just wanting a change because I wasn't needing any more differences in my skin. Tried out the Glycolic Acid Toner because it's got the Glycolic Acid, which is an AHA BHA, so I, one of the classes of AHAs and BHA, so it's a bit exfoliating as well. I tried it, I liked it. Really an expensive way to try AHAs and BHAs as well. It was nice, you will feel a bit of a tingle when you use it to tone, remove your makeup off. It was nice, but it wasn't actually, I didn't even see a huge, huge difference. But I have moved on to the Ren um, toner that has got AHAs as well. But I liked it really good. So that concludes all my entries, guys. Comment below if you use any of these products, if you enjoy any of them, if you've been picking any up or if you've dodged a bullet, I'd love to hear it. Consider hitting the subscribe button down below if you're not already subscribed and tap that bell if you are subscribed so you don't miss any videos. 
be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it it helps me know as well whether you like this kind of content or whether you don't love to hear it consider following me on social media as well i do post all the time about different things and content and i also show different stuff too can't wait i'll be back here guys with a haul i've got vib sale haul goodies to show you i have declutters coming up because i've got lots of packages incoming i cannot wait thanks guys hope to see you again click here to catch my last video click here to also subscribe and click here for more from me's beauty closet until next time guys